Hey, welcome back. I am back from my break. I'm sorry, I'm a little late. Oops. I'm a little late, guys. I was, um, had some things. Had some things going on, guys. But how are we doing today? We got a good show for you today. And can you guys see the work? All the things that are going on right now. And the sound. How's the sound? Just... Let's see. Close this thing. Cool. Let's get it started. Shall we? Sure. Sure, Jet. Let's get it started. My neighbors probably think I'm crazy. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's see if this wireless thing works. Nope. Not yet. I gotta get it figured out. It's not good. So I got my coffee, I got my water, ate my lunch. Hope you guys did the same. Because we're going to be here for a while. Let's clean up some of this, these lines. What are these lines over here? These lines. I was working so fast I forgot to clean up the lines. Excuses. Hey, make sure you say hi, check in. Hey, hey, how is everyone? There you go. Close that out, close that out. Right, so anyone watching the non-stream version of this, I am just working. Sorry I couldn't make the live, but I'm just working on some freelance work. This is Reiko Takashima. And Reiko is the ice element princess, so she controls ice. There's a dark, the dark power stirring in the darkness because they're dark. Well, not really, but they're evil. And. Uh, Kenta, the spirit being, comes down to Earth and awakens the powers within these girls with some power orbs. It's a fun story. Definitely check it out. I will be posting a link to the book. You guys can order it from Barnes & Noble. But, um, it, um, what am I trying to say here? You know, you know what? I think I'm going to add some detail to this. I'm getting some ideas. When you get ideas, you gotta jump on them. Otherwise, they jump on you. And what you gonna do? 
Yeah. Why did I think of that earlier? So like kind of a, kind of a, oh, this would be cool. What if we came all the way over here like this? How would that look? How would that be? Came here like this. So I'm thinking like, um, kind of like, Mm. So this fluttery kind of, um, I don't know, what is it called? The, the tuff of f feathers that birds have, but like, you know, like snow doves and stuff. So we can make this kind of like white or gold. We can try both. It's just you and me, buddy. Whoever's watching. Why are we so quiet? Okay. That's that. And let me think. Let me think. We're looking at the uh, hands, the, the the wrists, they seem a bit bare. So, I think we should extend, extend these here. Extend it out. Yeah, that's really elegant. Like that. And what if it was curved? So I want to make it kind of consistent, and I'm on the wrong layer. Let's turn off everything except the lines, make it less confusing. So if you don't know already, um, please play your own music for some background, because uh, <clears throat> for these live videos, I'm getting in trouble for posting or listening to music on the side. And that's only if the computer can recognize the songs that I play. And surprisingly enough, surprising enough, it, uh, it, it, it can. It recognizes the songs that I play. For example, it says, YouTube has detected so-and-so song. And for my last couple videos, it detected like nine songs and I had it down and it was all distorted because, you know, it's background music, not, it's not in the video. Sure enough, it was detected. And I was like, what? And, and then I think one of the videos are not viewable by anyone and I can't fix that. You know, I can't go in and, 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 and remove music. Yeah. That's a cool shape. Can we, can we... Here's my question. Can we take this shape here? Alright. Here's the question. Can we take it and make it better? Because we don't want skimpy, we want bold. Bold. And we want clarity, distinct shapes. So that when you look out from a distance, this is a good way to see if your drawing is working. To kind of look at your own work, you pull back. You look at it from over here, you're like, can I see what's going on? What's what's that shape doing? You know what I mean? Make it distinct. Be very deliberate with your your um, design. Yes, yes. Hey, 
Hey, our love lace. How are you doing today? I know I got one other person, but I'm just quiet at the moment. Maybe we'll get more people later. But it's nice to. It's nice to just be a little bit calm today. If I'm over here reading too much, I won't get much work done. I just keep talking. All right, so we got that there, and we have this. And I was contemplating as my on my drive today, out. What if we had like a snowflake shape here instead? But I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it in my head. I couldn't figure out what what kind of snowflake shape. I think the only thing here really is, you know what? What if it was like that? Yeah, that's kind of cool. It looks more like a snowflake. What? And I think that might hurt hurt less if it was to poke her. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Hope you guys are learning from my other videos. Sorry I haven't posted anything lately. Well, actually I have. I've been pretty good. Pretty good. You guys can expect, expect at least one tutorial video a week. If not, uh, hopefully one live video a week. But um, that's my goal. I'd like to get at least one, one tutorial out a week. But I'll tell you, man, when you, when you are, like, booked with work and stuff, it is difficult to do these things. Now, here, this shape here, it's a nice triangle, a diamond. Can we do anything else for this shape here? Can we? Hmm. Like that? What if it was like that? Huh. And these guys? What do we do there? Hey, can you guys hear me? Ara, can you hear me? Testing, testing. Hello, is anyone alive out there? Hello. You guys uh, watch Titanic? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hello! And then she's all. Cause uh, cause why? Cause she's um, she's freezing. She's blowing on that whistle. She's like, she's like, I'm here. I'm here, dudes. Like this here, like this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how this will look. So as you can see, um, these lines are looking pretty clean. We can actually take these lines straight into final. We don't need to like clean it up afterwards. Yeah. Hey Red, glad you can make it, man. Always can count on you. Count on Red, you guys. Yeah, that'll be that, and then, and then this shape here. We gotta draw this little symbol here that shows that. As you can see, it, it goes this way, and then it turns. Ooh, I like that line. Yeah, I see. Sometimes things just happen. 
by accident. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Huh. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. Again, what matters most really is clarity. Because if you can't, if you don't know what this big old shape is, then that design is useless. So what comes first is really the the shape of the boot itself. But um, I want to put. You know what? I, you know what I really want to do. I really want to overlay this layer here. Come down. Do something like that. Yeah, I like what's going on in the other boot better. So the show's gonna go on until six o'clock, and I got I gotta hop on to a different project. That's how it goes. That's just how it do. That's how it be. Yeah, that's good like that. And what else? One more here. That's good like that. Maybe a seam on the side. Yeah, why not? A little, a little bear there. But this, this, this very uh, skin tight suit is actually part of the dress. So. I know, right? It's kind of, kind of. I would think it'd be separate. I don't know. Yeah, what if she had like a belt, like out like hey, all the other girls? She's like, why can I have a belt? You want a belt? Sure. Here, I have a belt. So it would do kind of this. If we draw through her figure, it would be this, and it would do that. And it would not do that. It would do this. 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 What's up, Red? How you doing, man? Can you hear me? I'm gonna have to go check the sounds. Oh, let's go check. <clears throat> let's go check them. Them sounds. But um, great. Wow, that was pretty quick. Hey, you know what? That was like 15 seconds and you heard me. That was nice. That's the thing right there. See it? You see what I'm talking about by doing things all the way? You know, that's something we can all work with. Just punching it. Just do it, man. Sometimes people have great ideas, but it's the um, execution. The execution. You know what I mean? So it goes like that, and then maybe there's an inner ring for the inner ring. Um, this does that, and then this gives it kind of a depth. So, so now we can see that it comes, I'm on the wrong pencil. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what, my friend? We will just copy it out, cut it out, cut it out, and then we'll put it underneath, and then we'll just lower the opacity, and we'll draw over it, try to get a better design, because that was pretty tricky. So she could take that and zing zing. <laughs> you know what that means. That means you will lose your haircut. I think maybe she doesn't use it like, like a boomerang. Maybe it's just a weapon. Maybe she just uses it. But um, 
can we make it cooler? I'd love to like do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Like, but why can't we? Why can't we do that? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe it does that when it's open. Yeah. Let's um let us ink that. You know what I would really you know what I think it would be really cool? This would be really cool. See, instead of this shape here, something awesome. We're gonna do I want to keep it on a separate layer. See, this is the beauty of having digital drawing. So I can copy it like this, cut it, paste it on a different layer. I could turn that off and I can just work on a different idea. So I'm thinking, look, she's playing in the snow. She's going to get cold. Well, she doesn't get cold because she controls the snow. But just to kind of play with the idea a little bit we put some fur really really cool yeah yeah man I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it all the way around all the way around because I think this is what it's really missing this is truthfully what it's missing because why it's missing it Shoot. Maybe it's a jacket. The other girl has a jacket, does she? A jacket? Nah. Those would be seam lines, by the way. They would not be bare. This is. Um, Jet. Yo, oh, man, what's sorry. up, man? Oh. What's up, dude? Fucking Goten Hella went and stole Bulma's chew toy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> A little faster. <sighs> You heard it. Where'd you put it, Goten? You heard it here. Huh? Huh? Don't act like you put it back. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Go ahead. That's right. You heard it here first, kids. Awesome. See? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Shoot. Man. Let's put some. Let's put some. Crisscross. Crisscross designs on here. What if I did that? No. What if it was. Kind of. Flower petals, flower petals. Mm, or snow petals. We'll see. Patterns are easy. You you overlay that right over the um, the thing of things. Right over. Alright. Let us outline this real quick. And I believe this is our last item before we add in color. Moving along pretty good here. Music 
is ready to go. Press play. Mm. Man, I wish you guys could hear my music right now. Because when that music hits you just right, it's good. But when uh, you're stressing out, it kind of serves as like intense battle music. But when things are just flowing and doing good, and you're on a, and you're on a roll with your eye, with your ideas, things are just working right for you. You just it's beautiful. That's why music goes so well with art. They are hand in hand. Different worlds. Same language. To me anyway. It's hard to explain. Like. The feeling you get when you hear a good song. Like a really good song. You're just like, mm, that's a good song. You know what I mean? It's the same feeling I get when I see a really well done drawing, really well done picture. You just, you just love how they rendered it, the colors and the composition. It's beautiful music to me, anyway. And I try to explain this to like you know non artists or non artistic people. Like I'm just like I don't, I don't know this music. I don't know. So I listen to a lot of K-pop, J-pop. Even Chinese and Cambodian pop. <laughs> um, and a lot of a lot of American music as well. But what catches my attention is really not the person behind the music, but the like composers behind the music. You know what I mean? I'm not into the personality of the singers. Like, I, I could care less. I don't know who these singers are. I don't know their history. I don't know their names. I just... Well, I might know their names, of course. I know the name of the, the groups. But I don't know, like, the singers of their individual groups. And I listen to it as if I'm, I'm listening to or watching a movie. Like, if you watch the Brad Pitt movie, you associate a lot of things with Brad Pitt. And you say, oh, did you watch Brad Pitt's movie? And Brad Pitt's movie. He didn't, he didn't make the movie. He didn't make it. He was a big player in the movie. But behind all the visual effects and storytelling that went into it, you know what I mean? He's like 5%. He's really the hype maker. That's what, that's what singers are in a band. They're hype. That's what they are. They, they provide the hype. While the corporation provides the the product, so if you can enjoy music detached from the artist, then you are listening completely based on music for the musics. I'm talking about music. I'm really, I'm really like into music. If you guys didn't know. Um, just as much uh, as I am in, into art. And had I not studied art, I would have loved to go study music instead. It's my passion. Hey, thanks, Red. Yeah, you think so? It, it pops, doesn't it? Like... Where where does she belong? She didn't use her powers. Where where does she belong? Uh, snow maybe. Yeah. This arm here, her arm's a bit 
forearm's a bit small. But we can we can let it slide. It's a uh, it's comic art, man. Come on. You know, I'm thinking about adding some fur here too. But I don't think she'll be in the cold 24/7. It's really really for aesthetics and it may get a little too busy. It may. Yeah, let's leave it for here. That's going to be the focal point. Draws your eye in right there. You're like, wow, look at that. Hey, guys, just joining us now. Glad you could make it. All right, let's uh, let's darken it a little bit. Bump up the pencil width slightly. Let's bump up this shape here. All right, what we're gonna be doing um, is coloring this thing very shortly. Just let me just finish off this shape here and here. It's all. It's, it's hella, hella, it's hella funny. That's right, I say hella. You know, that's a Sacramento thing, right? I hope you guys knew that. That's where it started. No, not, not specific, not just California. You want to get specific. Started in Sacramento. Started in my, ba my bedroom, actually. You know, I was talking to my friends and I was like six years old. And I said... This food is hella good, and I was like, "Oh, let's start, let's start a trend where everybody says hella." So, just thought, you, thought just thought you guys know. <laughs> Thanks, uh, death of the good user. Oh, hey, um, when you say stockings, you mean this? This, right? Correct. You guys might be kind of surprised uh, if you're just joining us, joining me now, and you're not familiar with this character. Sad, sadly, I have to let you know that it's already colored. It's a makeover. Not really a makeover. I need to relabel that. It's more of a tune-up. Tune-up, yeah. So she's finished. She's completely drawn up. She don't need gloves. Show. Wait, maybe she does. <laughs> All right. So now the next step is to we're gonna basically take the uh, the new accessories that she has. What girl doesn't like accessories? We're gonna take the accessories and we are going to well multiply it so we have these see this is the before actually no that's not just it there was also the fur on her neck I had also this shape here um, I think we're gonna go better off with the with the ah uh, oh, come on now Yeah, we're, we're better off with the the fur. Ah, yes. Yeah, so, this is everything that we added. We might go a little more detail onto the trim here. I'm thinking thinking something like this. 
something like that. Be a good time right now to review some uh, uh, um, say it, just say it. Some references. I'm just I'm just playing right now. Got something like that. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Moving forward. Let's duplicate the line layer, the official lines underneath. Not the accessory layer. And let's duplicate the accessory layer. I'm going to label accessory. Got to label your stuff. Otherwise, you'll be sifting through your... Oh! Sifting through your, your stuff for a while. So I'm going to merge the two. But first, don't forget to erase the stuff that the accessories block. So we are on the line layer. This is before we merge everything. We're on the line and we're erasing things that are being covered by the... What the heck? What the heck happened now? Okay. Meow. Hey, what's up, ghost cry? What's good? Was good, baby. I'm gonna teach you guys some things, okay? Don't let your parents know. Just uh, when someone asks you if hey, what's good, you say it's all good, baby. It's all good. Don't don't tell a person nothing much or I don't know. You tell them it's all good, cause cause you know what? Frankly, I'm not here to listen to your life story. <laughs> <laughs> so will she be able to grip onto this mm, yes I think so but I think it should be a little slimmer just for ease of use oh wrong layer well they'll be merging together anyway so it should be fine See? See, so you got to think of kind of not only aesthetics, but also practicality and functionality. How does things work? My hand will feel a lot better on this. Oh, and then it's like, like this, see? So now it says that is what she hangs on to. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Then you go like this. I don't like this shape. I think it should either go all the way or not be there. Let's see. I don't know. See, as you can see, let me teach you guys a little point about tangents, okay? This is a <clears throat> red cardinal. Red card? Uh, I don't know. Forgot what they call it, but... Things not to do. Tangents. That's when things do not... When things kind of look like they stick out, like this point here, where it intersects here. We call that a tangent because they kind of look like they belong to each other, but they don't at the same time. So that right there is an error by an artist, the artist. You gotta make it distinguishable. This is this and this is that, not this is... Then your eye kind of says, oh, oh. So for example, if I'm designing something and I have a shape over here and it's in the background and this is like a box or something and that was the shape of the box, having it touch just like that and not like overlapping where it's all the way on the other side, we call that a tangent. 
because your eye goes right to this point. This point has a lot of tension, tension, and you're like, whoa, that hurts. Just a little FYI. I think she's good to go. Let's continue to erase things that are obscured by the accessories. So that would be this dress here, this here, um, this here. Uh, uh, uh. good to have a small crew like this I think so it's my crew you guys are my crew because I can uh, rely on you guys right if I need some sort of kind of opinion I'm like hey red what do you think about this uh, this metal ring here bad okay let's get it out of here and then you're, in a way, helping me produce this image. These images. And uh, also, if I ever, if I ever annoy you guys, I'm sorry, that's just how I am. <laughs> no. Let me know, please let me know. Like, if I'm eating something and I'm just like forgetting about it. I'm sorry. I'm not on my game. Damn. What's up, Sonic Hunter? Water shy? Okay, it's easy. What? What's easy? This drawing, yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of not. Just, just kidding. I I know I know you're not talking about that. I hope not. Man, I talked about um an earlier video that I get I gave up on. Gave up on coffee. But today, I woke up kind of early and I just had to. And I feel good. <laughs> ooh, what if she had like, ooh, hoo, 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 like that? Too much? It gets kind of messy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too messy. Gotta keep it elegant. La, 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 la. Okay, um... I think we're talking about adding a chain here. But that being much, much too, too much. So anything else? Ah, there we go. Some, some stuff. Some stuff. Where else? Where else? So the lines are not connecting each other. And that's okay. It's because it's kind of fur. I like fur. Take that out there. Clean up a little bit here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And here we go. I used to be in our armpit. Not anymore. Can you erase out this area here? Oh, 
Um, what else we got? So I made this a point earlier. A lot of times people ask, yeah, how do you get your lines so clean? They're not. Simple as that. They are not clean. They are clean at times if I really kind of like, if I went up for, over this whole entire drawing with another pass, which is unnecessary, especially for the style. If the style is simplistic, simple, then you can kind of get away with the, uh, the sketchiness. Um, and yeah, so like that. It looks pretty clean, right? But if you come up to it, you're like, what the heck happened? What is this? What's that? What's this? What's that? What's what happened here? What are this? What are that? See? So we are clarifying these shapes for the reader. We call them the reader. So the color scheme we have today for you is purple and gold. That's what we're doing. Um, bend of the arm should be a little bit higher there. Should be a lot of stuff, but I don't want to overcomplicate this. Attendance? Man. I think maybe if we were hella, hella delayed. Okay, that's that. This attaches itself there. Can you kind of polish this up a little bit? Her shoes kind of go through her dress. Some wrinkle. There. Yeah. All right, let's color. Let's color. Let's see, I'll have you guys till six. That's specific time. If you're watching. Okay, so we're going to add. Okay, we're going to turn off the lighting. I know the ice, we're good to go. So here's the ice. Oh, now it's not ice. Oh. Gotta get rid of this lighting here. So there it is, just flat colors. So we gotta fill in the new shapes. First thing we do is fill it in red. So I have a base kind of layer for everything. Kind of uh, serves as one blanket color to fill in any gaps that may be left over. If you guys want instructions for how I'm, I'm doing all this stuff and you're not familiar, just uh, please go check out one of the uh, other videos that I got. I cover it a lot, actually. Um, I believe I did it for the... Um, I forgot her name. She's like the girl in bikini with like uh, some sunglasses. Yeah, I talk about all this. All the tricks. Okay, we got that. This one comes over here like this. Why am I doing this? Because 
again, base wash color. It makes it 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 uh <laughs> it makes sure. Well, it certifies. I guess that's the word I can use. That I covered all all of the corners, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So. I'm going to turn off the uh, skin and I'm going to turn off the boots and I'm going to turn off the hair everything was red underneath okay so I'm going to start turning on these things the boots, the dress the hair and the skin layer here we go Okay, now if I didn't have this function on, keep your eye on the lines, okay? If I turned it off, see these white spots? There's, those are little gaps that the paint bucket didn't reach. So underneath, we have kind of a, a red color. Just my little, my little, little trick that I do, uh, developed on my own. Because red it has a low kind of color frequency and it doesn't stand out and it kind of blends with just about any color, especially black. And from out here, you think it's it's pretty full, even if here, you know, that's it looks pretty much like the lines are pretty filled in. But if they're off, ta-da. And that's the first layer you color in. Got it? Good. So we're gonna do some new new shapes. Hey, right, first thing we're doing, we're gonna do the, the, I don't know what to call it, tamarind, tamarine, tamarine braid, blade. Let's call it blade, blade. Uh, we're gonna have a layer for that, and we're gonna have a layer for the fur. Let's get the camera out here. It's just something for you guys to look at while I do this. Uh, and for the fur. I'm gonna do one for the gloves and chain. And we're gonna have trim. Trimming colors. Oh, I got a dislike. Somebody didn't like it. I failed. It's okay. It's okay. Thanks for coming anyway. Appreciate everyone. Um So the blade, we're going to choose What color are we going to choose? <laughs> I think you're right, Ghost. Oh, uh, was it my choice to choose these colors? Uh, we kind of we're trying to keep them consistent, since this is the colors that the author wanted to go with, black and gold. And uh, you know, um, they're the color that we ended up with, and. It keeps them all kind of unified. Kind of like Fantastic Four when you think about their colors. They have kind of a uniform. And that's what I think uh, she was trying to convey with these outfits. They're all in like black spandex suits. So. 
So like, oh no, I opened the wrong file. No, 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 go away. All right, so here we go. We have the characters. That's Ayano. We gotta update her face. She's actually an African American character, so she's gotta look a little more ethnic instead of just anime-ish. And then we have this, and we have this. The uh, water character. So I'm just going over all the characters right now and updating their suits I'm just trying to make it a little more interesting but as you can see they all kind of have like this dark kind of um, feel to them and now they have this oh yeah and also this is uh, some things you will not see me post exclusive to this video just some ideas for other poses that I had And we went with this one here. Close it out. Oh, thanks for the like. <laughs> to help me balance out that dislike. Well, I was like, you know, why did you dislike? Let me know. Just write. Just, just let me know. Because it hurts my feelings. And I cry at night. <laughs> okay, no, I don't. But I mean, come on. What more do you want from me, huh? What more? <laughs> I'm doing this for free, and I'm like already so booked and busy with work and all that stuff. But everyone's entitled to an opinion. And I welcome it. Uh-oh. I'm on the wrong layer. I'm going to save some time, though. We're going to take it like this. And we're going to copy it out. Now. Gold for the blade and gold for the trim, too. Death, you got, you got something going on, man. You read my mind. All right, let's get that blade. <laughs> I didn't see that comment. Uh, by ghost, that's it's funny, man. Thanks. <laughs> Just like where I can't see it. <laughs> Good looking out, brother. You are the man. You are the pan. I don't know, maybe they didn't they didn't get my humor. I mean I can't play music, you know. So I have to talk. 
Or I can be quiet. I can just be quiet. Like uh, a lot of other uh, artists out there. See, had it not been for the undercolor, there would be a lot of gaps. Handle. Figure out what to do with that handle in a second. I'm thinking white. Something that'll stand out against this. But we can fill it in with uh one one color for now. This is uh, something that I do. Um I just fill in one color. This way when we uh, go any secondary color, we can just um put a layer above it and add more color to that that one family of colors or objects. So that's a blade. Um, and that's not final. Um, we'll play with some other things in case. It, it could be improved. I'm thinking for the fur, we'll do like a... Um, for now, we'll do this kind of color. But uh, I'm thinking about like kind of a yellowish color. You know, kind of a cream. Yeah. Sometimes when you lay things down, it may look good at first, and you're like, oh, I love it. And you walk away, and you're just like, ugh. But yeah, see, as you can see, it's, um... Well, to me, anyway, it blends too much with the um, background. So, all right. Hey, hey, Janaya. Cool. Jenea, the author of the book, just uh, commented, just reminded me, um, also informed you guys that it, this book will be also available on Amazon. So, in case you didn't know already, I only think I think only three people know. This book is done, ready for you guys if you guys want it. And um, we'll provide the links and all that stuff, information below. See, a little cream color, yeah. Yeah, man. See that blue right there? Um, actually the blue looks nice too. Purple is kind of nice. Red is kind of monotone. Yeah, it's either yellow or blue. I'm thinking yellow, more contrast. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let's get some color for that chain. So what we'll do is, we can fill anything with one color for now. We can always change it later. Um, it's just what I do. And this is kind of like watercolor-ish. When you're going outside of the lines and stuff. 
again, the the lines help contain the shape. So I never have to be too accurate. It just kind of, even if it bleeds a little bit out or doesn't fill in all the way, it always reads as a very solid object. And my connection is kind of slowing down. Ah! Come on! Come on, man! Dang, we gotta figure out what's going on here. It's not. Okay, I have to run around and look for what to do. Usually if I look around really quickly and then I come back to it. I come over here. Close this out over here. What do you guys think it is? See if I limit the size of the map, the mapping capture area. See if that'll help the speed of. Alright, so I've shrunk in. Alright, we're back in business. Always does a trick. We're. That's right, we are flying through this one. Hey guys, thanks for the likes. Really lifts my spirits. You know what I mean? So you guys keep me going. I think I would do this if I didn't get positive feedback. I probably would still do it. It would just be a lot harder. You know? So that's that. Oh no, we forgot. We forgot this area. Uh oh. Don't be lazy. Fill it in. Fill it in. No, oh, wrong color. Again, the colors, let me just remind you. It's not final. As you can see, there are white spots. Why? Because the color underneath, directly underneath, is the skin. So we're we're painting this color over the skin. And I'm slowing down again. Oh no.
What's going on? Close. Close. Could it be? Hmm. So I just gotta let it pass. Whatever. You know, sometimes you just gotta find a way around it. Paintbrush isn't working, use a paint bucket. It's a paint bucket. It's just only one click. See here, skin. See the skin. Yeah, skin is underneath the boots. So what we'll do is we're gonna take this paint bucket, select the transparent color selection. And we're gonna make this thing transparent out. So. That's not right. What the heck? Bulma. Are those boots on a separate layer? <whistles> no, that's right. to say it shouldn't go beyond this shape here yeah it's supposed to do that over here close the gap all the way man I'm confused um anyways don't know what to do just call it out so the transparent function, it literally means you're, you're coloring out the color. So basically, erasing. Now, why don't I just paint the skin on top of the boots? Well, there's a hierarchy to it. And you want, well, I want the, um, the skin to be underneath. You know what I mean? So that if I have a layer underneath the uh, boot layer, which is the skin layer, then it'll it'll show up, and it will only show up the, in the area that has an opening. And at the moment, I'm erasing. Remember, I have a undercolor of red. So when I'm erasing, there's still a layer below that. See, I'm erasing through the chain, and I still can see the chain. It's because the chains are above it. Really, really basic stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys are getting the, the idea of it by now. Man, I have a cup of coffee. I'm getting sleepy again. Nope, that still doesn't work. I have to figure it out. Nope. 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 Whatever, man. Whatever, dude. Be like that. I don't care. 
Something about the lines being too light, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Let's try it again. Last time. No. Absolutely not. Are making way right now for the skin. So that the these would be openings. That would be actually not the skin. She has stocking underneath. Oh that would have been weird. gems on her hands like they were sapphires well like we'll take a look at sapphire what color is sapphire so on our stocking layer where that at here it is Grab the stocking color and begin filling in the the lamb lamb. Now watch this. I'm gonna paint through. See? See that magic? It's like a frame. Of course, you wanna stay in the booted area, the boot area, the boot, and you can see how that can make you come very useful. So the, the extra layers do pay off in the end. Oh, that's kind of cool, man. Yeah, so she's not, she's not gonna be stabbing herself with that object here. Should be good. Maybe lighter for stockings. Um, now they were supposed to be kind of transparent. Maybe darker. They were supposed to be transparent. So, uh, at the moment they are gray, and if they're gray, they will not change colors unless you add some sort of color to them, so we first have to add some color to it, and then we can modify it. It's pretty awesome to me. It's pretty cool like that. And, actually... Starting to see things pop out or all. Okay. If I went desaturated and light. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Mm, blue looks kind of cool. I actually like that dark kind of gold. It, it it bounces nicely against the color of the boots. 
but it doesn't compete with the uh, the gold around it. So, you know, by by compete, I mean like it's not the same. You know, if it was like this, that we kind of too much of the same color. And if it goes towards the more like greenish side, it kind of it's kind of close to the color of her skin. So um, I'm thinking like this ish. Be saturated and more saturated. So now you know what I think about when I'm selecting colors. Yeah, I like that color, you know? It, uh, reminds me of kind of what it is. It looks like stocking. So, oh, oh, thanks, Amu Hinamori. Bluish color for the gems on the hands. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, in my head right now, uh, it it may it may it may compete with the ice behind her. Oh, cool. Cool. So I just got I guess just got sent a link for the book. You guys can decide what to do with it. But, um. The author is homegrown. Come from a small town. Self published and all that stuff. Just. Not, well, you know. I don't know how to put it. But, um. I'm thinking Nah, that's cool like that What if she had like <clears throat> That stuff right there like that Yeah, so What I'm saying is the writer, you know, and I We don't come from like big backgrounds or anything We're just trying to Trying to make it in this small little world, so it would be really cool if you guys could support us. Um, because actually, I've partnered up with her in this whole this whole thing. And uh, check out the book if you want to see what these characters is all about. And I'll again provide the link for you guys if you're interested. In getting the book right away. Um, we're planning on opening a Kickstarter as well to help with the uh, the funding behind it because it was all out of the pocket kind of deal and basically to to further the uh, production we we're gonna need some funding because we're there's there's four books at the moment and the first book took a toll did take a toll. Hefty toll. So that's that, and and also spread the message if you know if you have friends who are interested in like um, uh, novels and. I guess it's like fantasy, fantasy thriller kind of story. There will be vampires, there will be demons, and there will be 
high school girls with special powers. And it'll have... Well... My art for the co cover. <laughs> and also these... These, um... Character art for the for the website. Where's the uh... I haven't yet, uh, I haven't yet read the whole entire book yet, but from what I read, it was really cool. I thought it was fun. It took me back to, uh, the old days with, uh, with Sailor Moon. Yeah, I used to watch Sailor Moon. I was, like, in the fifth grade. Third grade to fifth grade around there, I played on TV, uh, regular TV. I didn't own cable. And anime wasn't that big during that time, but I, I definitely saw the potential of it. I was just like, what is this? It looks different. Their eyes are bigger. <laughs> the book's history? Um, by that, what do you mean? book was just published like a couple days ago I mean and and released on Barnes Noble and uh, I did the uh, the cover art for it and also the character art for it it's not a, a manga as many might think because it's anime but it it takes on the anime theme genre you know with the whole look and feel of the, the characters so it's it's driven I mean it's it's an actual novel with plenty of pages with for uh for you guys to enjoy but yeah and it was written by uh Janae Williams uh we've yet to release the official trailer for the book so There we go. Um, I think one more. Yeah, I might add that blue color um, for the gem. Just uh, give me a second. We gotta lay ladies' foundation colors down first. Because I also think of, uh, let's see here, there's this color, we can do this, like this, or do it for the outside trim. Which one shall it be? Ah, that one's much better. All right, so we got the secondary colors. We're gonna try to play around with the sapphire. Let's 
see how that does against this here. I'm gonna look up Sapphire real quick. Hmm. Looks like an ocean blue. Like an ultramarine. See, it kind of blends in with the background. Um, yeah, it does blend with the background quite a bit. That uh, that cyan though, kind of works. The one that's kind of going through everything, her hair, her green even works. If it was yellow. Yellow always works. Well, not yellow. Gold. So. And there's a reason why it works. It may be, it may be opinion and just. Um, yeah, maybe just pre preference. But it also has something to do with color theory which has a rhyme and a reason to it. Like, people think it's subjective, but color theory, really, there's a math to it. Just like how music has notes and harmonies, and there are certain um, chords that go together for a certain reason. Same with color. There's a reason why colors harmonize a certain way. And you will see these colors and patterns repeated throughout nature, because that's just how color works. The same divisions you have mathematically in music, you have the same exact. You can quote me on this. Word for word, every measurement of color in like, you know, there's degrees of separation translates um, into music as well. Isn't that awesome? So what am I saying here? Why does that cyan work? There's a whole video on that alone. <laughs> yeah, I want to focus. I want to keep focusing on drawing for now. But, uh, It works because um, if you know anything about like complementary colors and um, like monochromatic colors and also split complementary colors, some colors just work better with each other. Oh, the plot. Uh, the plot is uh, there's a de demonic group of demons and dark powers like a vampire king and stuff. I think there's like a vampire leader and he's raising an army of demons basically to take over the earth. And these girls are the ones basically who will be summoned by a powerful spirit fighting being um, from the heavens red looks cool but she's ice mm, the blue doesn't look too bad let's see looking at it again yeah it doesn't look that bad I'll lower the value and I think it'll look fine it's more on the greener side again but Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks, Anu Hinamori. 
The story is, yeah, so the girls get summoned by Mr. Kenta. Kenta, do I have Kenta? No. And he rounds these girls up, and they basically have to defend the Earth. Like I said, I've only read probably 20 pages. We got to the part where they're introducing, you know, all the girls and their personalities. And I think it's a, it's, I think it's the direction of the future, you know. You always see novels geared more toward very illustrative designs. Not so much manga. People shy away from that, you know? Because if you're going to do manga style, then you're going to do a manga book. But the tide is changing. And I think it's interesting that they decided to go with this. They decided to go with me <laughs> as the artist. I was, um, I was selected to be the artist. For this story. And I jumped right on it because, you know, I can do manga. Yeah. Yeah, man, color harmony. Basically, the color harmony between purple, the purple and blue, they are monochromatic and next to each other, and there's a lot of purple. And giving it that blue, if it's like ultramarine blue, it's neighbors to the, um, neighbors to the purple. So we have a purple hue, and what happens is, if it's in the, if it's, if it's in the blue hue, it kind of gets lost. Um, and it doesn't give like kind of a good punch it doesn't punch you like like uh you know what I mean you don't get a feel for the color but if you push it a little cooler like towards the cyan greener kind of blue then there's more separation in color if you were to press two notes together on a keyboard bring you know you hear the harmony that's when two notes are played but if you're using the two no two notes that are next to each other they won't sound as pretty as if you were to skip um, same if you're harmonizing you're singing with somebody if you're off if you're off key and you're not on the right key your harmony is broken <laughs> little music lesson along with that so this trim okay so what if I did more of a silverish color for the chain let's give that a shot I'm not so much for silver but it was asked. I'll give it a shot. Again, it doesn't punch as hard as the gold does. And this this big old shape for the blade. Not quite working either. Oh. Why? Because, well, why does it not work? Well, it's not that it's not working, it's that there's too much, there's too much gold. Maybe we can use that silver there. 
again, color separation. Let's just try it all the way across like this. It's either one or the other. See, this is what happens when you don't keep them on separate layers. I actually merged the blade into the trim layer, so now I have to select it, select it last individually, and then modify it. So give it, give it some color first, and that begins to blend in with the color of the. Uh, a knife behind there. Yep, yeah, it's either the uh, the gold. either the gold or the or silver I think that'll work. We're not gonna spend all day on that. And this shape here. That works. I like that. As for this, I'm uncertain about that. We might just get rid of that altogether. Limbs? Oh, absolutely. I think I did, uh, yeah, I went through the arms and stuff and I screwed up because I wasn't recording the sound. Um, absolutely. I... Limbs. Yeah, I made a really quick one on legs if you want to watch it. It's up. I think it is. Yeah, um, do you see this here? This shape, this color here, is competing against this one here. So it's one or the other. Or we do something about this color here. Let's see if this works. Let's take a leap. Take a leap of faith. I think I tried that. Yeah, I think that works.
you know, when I add the shine to it, it'll look cool. And then we can add this. Ah, let's do this. Look at that. Yeah. Let's give it a little darker value. Mm, maybe blue. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> now there's balance. Kind of seeing the eyes how it plays. You got this nice open space. That color, and then we have it again here, and then you can see a little, a little thigh there. So it's open, you know, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Yeah, I jumps around. It's, it makes it for visually interesting, you know. I think we're good, you guys. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> um. Other than a sapphire, I'm pretty sure about this. See, see how that. I don't know. I know you guys wanted the. I don't know. The only thing I can think of that works is the red and this. Orangish and the cyan. This, this is the blue that works for me. Going towards this cyan green, that works, but it's starting to become more redundant with the uh, background. Maybe we sa saturated it. Yeah. I don't know, what kind of crystal is a, uh, not really crystal at this point, it's kind of a, let's make it a crystal. Let's make it a crystal. I was going to ask, what kind of gem is uh, cyan? Let's see here. So it's so it's now a gem. I would say more um, like crystals, right? Or or a turtle shell. So as you guys know, turtle turtle. I can do, a, I will do a quick tutorial on limbs, yes, you know what, I can do a quick tutorial on limbs, arms and legs, immediately after following this video. Um, I actually have work, other work to do, but since you are such a sweetheart, I am going to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anything for my fans, or my viewers, or my peoples. All right, that's good there. Next on the list is adding the shadows, and this is gonna be quick because we already had shadows. Badow! And that helped a lot. But as you can see, some of the shadows don't work. Like this shadow here that cut right through her, her little uh, fur thing of thing. Again, let's take a look at the before. I used to. I need to use the potty. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever seen a grown man cry because he needs to use the potty? Huh. 
Oh, okay, let's just do the easy way. I have it opened up here. No, I don't. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. That's Ayano, by the way. And uh, that video is up for the next couple days on livestream.com. If you're following that, I drew it all. live and I switched I just switched over from live stream because it was making me mad um, how because um, it only it doesn't archive your videos forever they hold your video for a month and then it gets taken down and if you want to keep your videos up it's $47 a month and that's a bill I'm not ready to take on <laughs> just for some videos and they're are other services where they can hold on to your videos such as YouTube and I worked my butt off to figure out how to get the YouTube to work and get the YouTube to the work <laughs> so I did the work and now I'm here but this is what we have and if you look here how the fur cuts off across it's because it's on a separate shadow layer and the, originally the shadows did this and now we have this here. Uh huh. So, for the most part, the shadows do work. They work good. They work well, I, sh I should say. But, as for, for example, stuff like this, where the shadow cuts into the, the blade. And this hip right here cuts into that. It's because these objects were added later. So we need to figure out the shadow. Oops, went too far. So first we have to clear out the old shadows that aren't working, such as this one. Oh, this one works kind of nicely, but it actually is above the hair, so we wouldn't see that gigantic um, yeah, you see the light comes from the top, so we don't have that. No, not here. For us. Just a little scan over. We're going to add them back in and fix whatever's not working. Actually, I don't know if I can do the limbs today. I really got to get to work. Um, my client's waiting for me. I cannot make these kind of, you know, Usually I would. Usually I would make these kind of exceptions and just jump and do whatever, you know? I'm kind of like that. So that's basically how a lot of my videos get done. But that is also basically how I um, get really backlogged with work. Yeah. 
Yep. Shout out. Shout out. But uh, I believe. Um. Yeah, one of my vids. I'm pretty sure of it. Let me figure it out which one it is for real, just real quick. It's one of my live videos. So if you go to my YouTube page. To my videos, it should be um, uh, my f one that's the one that says first YouTube stream. Yes, I think as I'm trying to figure it out, uh, I wanted to give people a little bit of uh, tutorial because everybody was so patient. I'm trying to figure out everything. So, yeah. So, about four four videos old is the uh, storm that you're going to want to watch. Yep. God. Oh man. Come on. Okay. Back, kind of. It's probably gonna act up again later. So if you guys didn't know, I actually I used I mean I did I started off using live stream. It's a website that allows you to live stream. No brainer. Uh. And it was pretty nice. I pulled in a couple uh, viewers there. People actually came, subscribed to my live stream, and I left it. I left it for YouTube. You know, and also another thing, it was just not very centralized. You know what I mean? When you're ha when you have to switch around between. Uh, programs and mediums it's not very you know it's not easy to get get to the people and I have my audience here in YouTube so I so this would symbolize kind of a reflective metallic surface metal so it looks kind of ivory-ish but I'm trying to figure out what else can I do let's see what else I can do here hold on a sec if I were to come over here look at that blade And darkened it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think uh, that works. And that works. Shadows really do make a lot of difference. It gives you more, uh, more complete kind of visual for whatever you're trying to draw better idea what you want that's good and then I'll add some oh that's <laughs> I just hit just hit undo to see what was the uh, the original color I had it's it was the same exact color let's finish up these shadows
thing there. Shadow here. Some shadows on this thingy here. <laughs> All right, angelic savior, I shall take my time. Shadows to your eyes. Hmm. There you go. All right, for the final stage, I was actually thinking of doing. Well, I was actually thinking of doing gloves with fingers, but. No, I like the little contrast again. It bounces back and forth. Oh, I forgot. Uh, a little more shadows actually under hands. There. Hands here. Here and shadows. You can be kind of messy. Shadow. They have kind of a life to them. You know what I mean? They're not static. They. They're always kind of moving around. Drink a little bit of water. Can you guys hear me like breathing and stuff? I know I have my earphones on, so please play your music and stuff. I've seen some videos of YouTubers, like you can hear them breathing. Turn on the lights. Here we go. So we had lights. Lights. Bow. Hey, that's kind of bright. I didn't realize it was that bright. Let's erase some of these lights out. We don't erase. We we paint it out with the with the whatever tool you use to paint it in. With the same tool. Select the uh, transparent setting, and you literally paint it out. Oh, and I'm on the shadow layer. There we go. So now I'm painting it out, painting it out. Uh, it just seemed a little washed out. You ever seen like a picture where, say you're at the beach or a nice sunny day, it, pictures come out super bright? Yeah. That's what you would say. That's what you would call a washed out picture. And see here? So if you are to turn off that soft light, that's what I call it, the soft light. So I have a layer for soft light, kind of ambient. It kind of jumps around everywhere. We want it a little less, a little less than it is. Let's turn it off. That's a little better. You know what I mean? You want you want it there, but this is this is a kind of pass referred to as subtlety. And it's supposed to be that. Subtle. Okay, so the light comes in right there. Add some extra lights to all of these kind of forms. Oh. Please, 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 please don't slow down. Come over here, press a few things, come back. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, it works. Let's 
So right along the center of these objects, we would add kind of a highlight. Nah, we won't do that one. As you can see, I choose the edge, the, the arc, the center of the object is where the uh, light is strongest. So if the light, if it was over here, that would mean the light's coming from behind. Here it would mean Really, it just the light. Just it's kind of a kind of a general direction of light. So I believe it's called ambient occlusion. Not quite sure, but if you don't know where to put your lights, just put them in the center of the object, and then worry about them later. There we go. For the knee. Just get this tool out here. And then we just hit it like this. Again, a little brighter. Not all of it, just some of it. Can't really see where the light hits on that. It's all right. Let's do this here. Super bright. Let's not have it too bright now. The brighter the objects are, the more it pulls your eye in. So you have to be very calculated with it and reserved. Where you want it to be the most bright is where you want really the focal point to be. And I would save that for the eyes. So let's give the eyes a little more brightness. Usually the darkest object on the page should be neighbors with the brightest object on the page. And it causes the most tension, but it, it pulls your eye in that direction. Um, But I think that'll do it for this one. Yeah. Unless you guys have any suggestions, any ideas. Hmm, we did a lot more than I uh, expected, actually. So, there's only one more character left. And that would be Yumiko. And she literally has one... Like a UP, one piece turtleneck. And we have something ready for her as well. 
Um, and we're going to update a little bit of her features to emphasize her ethnicity. And then we have to do Kenta's sword. Kenta Shiroyama. This is Kenta. He's the guy who comes over and trains the girls. Gives them their abilities. Awakens their powers from within. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, and this the the video is a bit delayed, so uh, probably won't get your messages. It's not for another couple seconds, so I don't want to make this you know like drag on, but drag on, drag on. Um, yeah, I'll. I'll provide the link for the information you guys need if you guys wanted to go check out the book um, and get your get a copy of your own. Uh, I'll get, give you guys all the information below and also post the official Facebook page for this. And yeah, that's it. That is that is the show. Thanks again. Thanks again, guys, so much for coming by and. Just helping me out, showing me the uh, the support, and till next time on Jet. Thanks for watching. Peace.